welcome to Tech Talk. Me, Anthea, will co-host for me, Kenton Milroy. Hello, everyone. Team Blame Me Tech Talk is the watching very closely, more with a very keen interest on issues where Lista happen right now, the social media, and Lista come out as well, the daily posts. You may look, Sabe say, we have a problem with the human resource management, Blame Me. Now, you talk about the human resource management, you may look, look, the site, law recruitment, discipline, you may look, look, the site, law performance appraisals, you may look, look, the site, law succession planning. All of these things only for one particular purpose, and that is to make sure, say, you make up all right people, only work inside law organizations, please, in order to have me achieve him vision, more goal, please. Because organization where you start serving, have me one NGO, then the goal is to make sure that aid is distributed fairly. Because you work law one private sector, then the goal is to make sure you make a profit. If you're working for the government, then your goal is to make sure quality service delivery has happened to people of Vanuatu. The 2020, by Vanuatu, has graduate out the least developed country status for him, or by him achieving moderately developed country status. He may be meaning say, all institutions will be backbone of the economy, or you must continue to perform more achieving visions for only way we you miss have make them is by making sure that all right skill sets, more all right mindsets only exist inside our organizations there to drive it forward. So when we talk about recruitment management, you miss not talk about them. How now one candidate him give him uh, application for him and one vacancy him come out. You may look look to la how all interviews only carried out. Who is on the panel? When them kind questions only ask him. How now only formulate the more questions here? How do they rate or responses for one candidate, for one question? Got some questions were only weighted differently, only more important than others. All these activities only make sure, say, from the beginning to the end of the recruitment process, a transparent process is being carried out. Law recruitment, you may also look, look, who now by final authority will by him decides a candidate by taking one position. Naya, you miss have a look, say, there's a lot of uh, disputes, a lot of uh, issues around who gets selected and why did they get selected over me. It's because you may not have one recruitment process where have me clear and transparent. And for that reason, a lot of speculations only arise that one recruitment process have me end. So technology has a part to play in improving this situation. Systems should be in place to make sure say, only the right people with the right authority and the right roles participate in the recruitment journey. Giving people the right roles and the right responsibilities, have me stop them, any person where have me no part of the recruitment process, have me tamper with them all applications where they come in, or only tamper with them recruitment process or the final selection. Technology today is so advanced that we can have something in place where have me allow you me to look who he give him one application, when did they give it, what was the criteria where he me only follow or select them particular candidate, whether or not he me progress into a pre-selection list or not, whether they progress into an interview. Technology today allows us to even keep proper records and audit trail who approved it? When did they approve it? Why did they approve it? And by using technology, it makes that whole process a lot more accountable. So why not have a piece of technology that allows people to collaborate? Time say all stuff decide lo when them questions now, Bali ask him no interview. It's not one person deciding it. It's a group of people with the right experience and they know when them kind candidate now only want them attract them. They are the ones who formulate the questions, but they formulate it in a collaborative way using technology. Why not? You may not using technology today, but make sure, say, the pre-selection list that comes out is done independently using some algorithms. Technology today, I miss have a look, look one application and say, okay, if you want a leader with these particular skill sets, application will come through here by Algorithm, Hemi go through and Hemi give him one percentage of how well this candidate meets the criteria where you put them. 
in that way the process is independent in that way the process is transparent we can also use technology to make sure the recruitment process will be more robust it's more cost efficient cost effective you can be anywhere in the country maybe you should travel to a province or maybe you're on an, on an international trip but the recruitment process he may start to continue in that way you may reduce the time frame of having people in acting positions instead you may get the right people in the right place quicker sooner um, technology today allows you to approve things outside of your office space it allows you to make decisions make comments on applications without being in the same space as all of the other panelists but recruitment process here may start to happen and the delays are reduced technology today have me also benefit them all applicants um, throughout the whole recruitment process you can see where your application is progressing okay i've made it through the pre-selection list now i'm in the interview interviews are being taken place now it's the last authority to make a final selection you can track it the entire way and you can make sure that nobody is tampering with your particular application One component for recruitment process here he may also serve allowing people where well they start one higher level. Say, for example, one minister, where one recruitment is to happen with a particular ministry, and he needs to have oversight over it. He may not need to interfere with them because that would be categorized as political interference, but at least he has some sort of oversight over the whole recruitment process. He can see how slowly candidates are dropping off that list. He can see grievances where maybe some people are not happy for some reason. Why did I get dropped off before the interview process? And he can monitor it without actually interfering in the process. Um, this is probably also useful for private sectors where key players in your organization cannot be bogged down with the recruitment process, but yet they want to have oversight over it because it's good governance for them. Technology is there to assist us. So for us to achieve a smart economy, you may must invest law or technologies where only allow you to improve the recruitment process for you. Only then will we become cost efficient, cost effective, transparent, accountable, and ultimately you may achieve in good governance. From your Tech Talk team, we hope this episode has helped you to better understand some of the issues that we're currently faced with with regards to recruitment. See you next time.